What's up guys, this is GadgetZone here, and today we'll be reviewing the Basketball Kickout Return System by SKLZ. This model, like others, costs around £50, and right now, I'll start the review off by saying this is a great investment. So, let's have a look at why. But before we get into how well it works, it arrives in separate pieces that only takes a few minutes to put together. The cage pieces slot together and use catches to securely stay in place and then the cage attaches to the yellow ring through the clips, which are then secured by screws. I tried dismantling it for this video so I could demonstrate putting it together, but even with tools to try to unclip the yellow ring, I couldn't manage to. So this is a testament to the stability of the system. And in two years of using this, the cage pieces have never separated from each other, so you won't have to worry about interrupting any workouts to have to reassemble it. The kickout returner has four straps with hooks on the end which hold the system onto the basketball hoop. Attaching the kickout system to the rim is very easy. It's simply a case of hooking it over the rim with the hooks spaced equally apart, feeding the net through the centre of the yellow rim and letting gravity work. If you don't have an adjustable hoop, you may need a step ladder or you can just lean the hoop over to attach it. Now getting back onto why I like the kickout system so much. The greatest thing about it is how it stops any interruptions in a session. When playing basketball on the driveway with a portable hoop, the most frustrating thing is when the ball goes through the hoop, and lands on the corner of the base and runs down to the end of the garden. Although this only interrupts a workout by 20 seconds or so, that can often be enough to stop your flow and is so frustrating when it happens multiple times in a row. The kickout system guides the ball away from the base, preventing it from ever running down the garden and in two years of using this, the ball has never hit the base after going in. In addition to preventing any interruptions, the system allows for a more efficient workout. I timed how long it took to shoot 100 mid-range shots with and without the system. At the time, it didn't feel like there was too much of a difference between the times. However, without the kickout system, it took 16 minutes to shoot 100 shots, whereas I managed to shoot 100 in only 11 and a half minutes with the system. Without it, I counted the ball hitting the bottom of the base 17 times, resulting in an extra 2 minutes and 40 seconds of collecting the ball. Even without the ball hitting the base, there would have been a difference of 2 minutes, which is an extra 15 or so reps I could have got up. This extra 2 minutes is due to the system kicking the ball out closer to where I shot from. You'll notice from the footage that without the system, I'm collecting the ball from under or behind the basket for the majority of the time the shots go in whereas I'm only having to take a couple of steps forward to grab the ball with the system attached. Finally, I scored 76% of my shots with the system attached, which was an extra 14% than without it. I think this is likely due to my ability to get into a rhythm with having to spend minimal time in between reps. There are a few times without the system when I would make a shot, the ball would run down the end of the garden, I'd miss the next, and then repeat that for the next few shots, and I found it much harder to stay focused. That being said, however, the hook did detach from the hoop due to the ball hitting it on four separate occasions. However, the time spent lowering the hoop, reattaching the hook, and raising it back up again was insignificant compared to the 17 times the ball hit the base. A unique feature for this system over similar models is its ability to rotate 360 degrees. This is great for a hoop permanently at 10 feet high because you can easily change the direction without needing a ladder. On the other hand, this feature can be quite annoying as the system sometimes rotates when the ball hits it in a certain way. Over time, this can cause the system to kick the ball out in an undesired direction. For adjustable hoops, where it's not a problem attaching and detaching the system, cable ties can be used to prevent the system from rotating. Therefore, it will always return the ball to your desired location, and if you do want to change the direction it kicks the ball out, you can just rotate the hooks along the rim. Finally, as you can see in the following clips, the kickout system has no problem with the impact from shooting at a greater range and also does not get in the way or detach from the rim when dunking the ball. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I've used this kickout system consistently for over two years now and I've never had any problems with it. None of the plastic components show any sign of snapping, and the cables are still in great condition. I never leave it outside, so I'm not sure if it would still be in this good condition if it was left in harsh weather, 
but again, it's pretty quick and easy attaching it and removing it from the rim. The kickout system is great, allowing you to maximise the efficiency of your workouts and even if you're not too fussed about getting up hundreds of shots quickly, the convenience of the ball returner, with the ball never hitting the base of the hoop again, is enough for me to recommend this for you. If you've enjoyed this video or found it useful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to support us. And as always, thank you for watching.